There is probably nobody that knows the steamy waters better than Wayne Hartley. They're under us. I see the bubbles coming up there. For 35 years, Wayne has been paddling up and down this pristine waterway known as Blue Spring. When the springs are this big here in Florida, they call them a boil. The water boils up out of the ground and runs a third of a mile to the St. John's River. From a distance, it appears that he talks to himself. And who are you? But you quickly realize he's just doing his job. Just saw Flash. Flash is important manatee. That job is keeping track of wild manatees. There's Floyd. The tedious task of documenting every manatee he spots, many of which he's seen before. So nice to come here, and here you're looking at the same animal you saw 30 years ago. It's still here. It's, it's still recognizable. Due to the scars from boat propellers. I call those dragon's teeth. That's where the propellers hit time, 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 time. Wayne works with a group known as Save the Manatee. That's an organization that came into existence. Uh, Governor Graham and Jimmy Buffett were behind it. And now uh, to save manatee, to see that we have them for our grandkids and many future generations. Not just Floridians, but everybody in the country and all around the world. And it appears to be working, at least here at Blue Spring. Just look at this gathering of manatees. There are full-grown adults, some weighing over 2,000 pounds, mothers and their calves. It's sort of a safe haven for manatees to hang. Now this is where the manatees come into the Blue Spring Run. Now they're free to come in and out of here whenever they please, but there's two main reasons they come in here in vast numbers this time of the season. Number one, it's a safe harbor. Number two, that all important water temperature. When the St. John's River gets below 68 degrees, they start to get cold. They're looking for a warm water refuge. We happen to be one, our water is always 72 degrees. Megan Kesarowskis knows how important manatees are to Blue Spring. Remember, this is the same spot Wayne is busy counting manatees from his canoe. You see, it's here that anyone can come and view and watch these gentle giants. So we have people coming from all over the world who make plans every year just to come here and visit, especially if they've adopted a manatee. The park has a series of boardwalks and observation decks that go along the spring run, giving everyone that visits a bird's eye view of manatees. The view is amazing. It's crystal clear water and so you can see straight to the bottom. And so you actually get to see the manatee in major detail. And it's this kind of viewing that keeps people coming to see the manatees every year. I think it's very pristine. It seems like a protected place for the animals to enjoy uh, the natural environment and a beautiful place for people to observe them in their natural state. Everything is real clear. Even if you go up to the boil, it's very, very clear. You can look down and just see. We just saw a group of uh, five or six together and it's, it's almost like they're right on top of the water. It's very fascinating. They're very huge. They, they, they move along the top of the water very slowly and stuff. I can see why, as they say, speedboats and stuff damage the, and kill the uh, manatees. And so usually what we see here first are mothers and calves because the calves are smaller, they get colder quicker. Aside from seeing manatees, you will also learn about sea cows here at Blue Spring. Park officials are on hand to answer any and all questions guests may have about the animals. So let's piece together some manatee facts. Manatee's closest relative is the elephant. The relationship is easy to spot. Both animals have three to four fingernails. Manatees are herbivores or vegetarians. Some eat up to 100 pounds of food a day. Early explorers claim to have seen females in the water. We now know these encounters were simply manatees. Manatees have fairly good lifespans. They can live up to 60 years old. Manatees move around three miles per hour, but they can swim up to 20 miles per hour if necessary. Gestation period for manatees is 11 to 13 months, after which a single calf is born. I like the fact that they actually have their own personalities. Each manatee is different. So you'll have manatees that are very shy and you'll have ones that are very curious. And we have manatees that'll actually come right up to the stairs and get really close to people and want to see what they're about. So they're very curious and I find that very interesting. But I'd say we probably have a little over 200 right now. Is that a good number? That's a good number for the, you know, it's only 64 degrees in the river. 
So as Wayne finishes up his weekly manatee count from his canoe, and as Megan continues fielding questions from visitors on shore, it's a reminder to all of us that conservation can work. Protecting a species gives it a chance to survive and thrive in the wild, and allowing people to appreciate that same species close up creates a harmony that we can all appreciate for generations to come.